Hey everyone, it's the last few days of our set. We're getting a new set that's gonna be under construction. And I wanna show you the old set before we start to tear it down. So let's go on a quick tour as we say goodbye to our old KHON2 set. First thing I wanna show you, this area right here, this is the Living 808 set. Now on television and when they do the shows, all these tables are removed. But this is basically it, the couch. John Veneri sits on one side. Tanya Joaquin sits on the other. Big, huge monitor in the back. Nice stuff. This is all going to. Secondly is the green screen. That's the green screen where I do weather. And I know where I'm pointing at because I have these two monitors on each side of the green screen. So I could see myself. This is the green screen. And I can see these monitors. So... That's how I know what's going on. And here's Bridget, of course. Aww. Look at that red dress. Oh, I, you were doing her, I, was you know, I, I told her you were filming, you were doing the tour. She couldn't help herself. She couldn't help herself. It's okay. It's okay. Right, I like you guys. I like you guys in the video. In fact, you're going to help me out. So tell everybody about the main anchor desk, this main anchor desk. Look the coolest thing, it looks space. beautiful from your perspective. Spacious. Now go back and look at what we see. It's not very pretty. I mean, look at all this stuff underneath, right? All the wires, boxes for Bridget to stand on. Yeah. I'm not wearing my heels. Don't yeah. show them my feet. Well, too, too late on don't, that. Sh don't show them my feet as I as, pause. As I pose. <laughs> Get on the Apple box, Bridget. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah. Howard, Howard, you're like six one two something yeah, like that. Yeah, six one and a half. And Bridget, you're Five, still shorter. Four. So yeah, that's that's what. Right. So we're looking at essentially. Usually there's five cameras here, but they have removed one for our temporary set. So this is camera two. Where are you going live? No, this is recorded. Yeah, camera two, camera three, camera four, and camera five, and we know which camera to look at because of this tally light right here, right? And so when that tally light gets red, only one turns on at a time we know what camera is activated and therefore we know what camera to look at. But sometimes it does get confusing, right, Bridget? Yes. Did you tell them that we lost camera one? Yes, I did. Camera one is in the, new, uh, in the temporary set. So it gets confusing. Thank you for not answering the question because there's so many cameras here. There's, there's five and sometimes Actually, so you forget. Oh, are you chiming in now? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay sorry, I forgot. I, yeah, anyway. So yes, it can get confusing. That's why we have to really pay attention to our rundowns, which basically is, it shows every script, everything that we need. So, and our, our producers or our directors will let us know what camera to look at, we'll write it down. So we kind of have to simultaneously multitask while we're talking. Um, it's kind of, I mean, it's, it's you, you get used to it. You get used to yeah. it, but can you load up your, um, EMPS rundown? I want to show that, please. Sure. Not, I mean, not right the second because I have more stuff to show, but anyways, okay, this is what we're looking at folks. And I would say there is a good distance of approximately 12 to 15 feet. Here we are. Yep. Yeah. See, there you go. And then the prompter, we read this, okay? And that kind of scrolls through. But yeah, thank you for punching up that camera. Um, other things too, reporters, when they front their stories or when they introduce their stories or when they're presenting their stories, they stand in front of this TV pre-COVID and the marks on the floor indicate where they stand. You see that T there? One foot goes on one side of the T and the other right here. So we know exactly, exactly where to stand. There's multiple marks on the floor. Uh, the floor is littered with them. And also on this desk, you see these notes, such as four shot, position four, weekend show, triple stack. That's a triple stack of TVs in the back. Joe, election coverage, Robbie, Robbie D. We have Joe's spot, he sits right here. Always. Gina, right here. And then you move to the other side of the desk and you'll see my spot for the 4 p.m. news. And BN is for Bridget Namada, Ren Clayton, who doesn't work here anymore. 
And so, yeah, that's where we know where to stand so that we're perfectly framed in the shot. And now this is called the weather pod. The weather pod here is where Kamaka, Kelly, and myself, we kind of stand. We have a huge monitor behind us. We have all of our weather computers here. We can change the scenes. We also have a regular computer here where we can access the internet. And that's where we get a lot of our information from. And there's a big monitor here. And this is a weather workstation here. Oh, my Darth Vader, sorry. Yes, I hide a Darth Vader, full-blown full blown Darth Vader helmet behind the TV. Nobody knows about This is exclusive behind the scenes stuff. Anyways, so here's some more computers here. I mentioned a triple stack. This is the triple stack right here. The mark to stand for the triple stack is right on the floor down there. So if you stand on that T like I am here, you'll be perfectly framed near the triple stack. Then we have the floor director, we call him RoboCam, and this is Dennis. Hi, Dennis. Dennis, let's have everyone practice reading the prompter. Can we roll for just a minute? Read the prompter, pretend you're an anchor in three, two, one. Then Bridge chimes in and says, How do you know what to say? Um, well, I, I read the prompter. The prompter. Yeah. <laughs> I read the prompter. Howard's getting ready to do the show. Let's do it. The newscast. You want to take a look at the rundown? Oh, yeah, yeah, real fast. So here is the 9 p.m. rundown. These are all the scripts. And then if you kind of look over here, it's a little complicated, but it tells you what camera to look at. Big monitor, camera five. Howard looks at camera five. Mm -hmm. 30 seconds away from the newscast, folks. Well, thanks for tuning in. This is the uh, last look at our soon-to-be previous set. It is 8.59, okay? And we are 15 seconds away from the start of a newscast, and we'll end this video with just that. Five seconds away. Here we go. Honolulu prosecutor charges three officers involved in the deadly shooting of a teenage boy after a grand jury chooses not to. If you were vaccinated in Hawaii, you no longer need to be tested when returning home from the mainland. Plus a big venue change for a popular Made in Hawaii festival. We're working for hey. Hawaii. This is the KHO2 News at 9 with Howard Dashevsky and Bridget Lamata. Good evening, everybody, and thank you for joining us tonight. In an unprecedented move, Honolulu prosecutors have charged three police officers in connection with a shooting that killed a 16-year-old boy. This comes after a grand jury declared...